What is going on? Hashtag Burritos Nation. It's your boy Rainbow Warrior here with number 29. The Supercard community is not feeling too fine of WWE Supercard. It's your boy Rainbow Warrior. I think I already said that. But anyways, guys, if I start coughing or sneezing at all or sniffling, like right there, is because I am getting really, really sick. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully I get better soon. But this episode is going to be a little bit different than other episodes because... It's there has been a problem going on in Supercard in the last day that is a really really big problem that Cat Daddy Games if you don't know that's the owners of Supercard in my NBA and NHL Supercard they have messed up big time in this game. If you don't know, for those of you in the lower tier, some of you might know, but those in I believe it was Elite and Ultimate only that actually um, this happened in. There was. Before we get into this, let's go and shout out the team. Just, just, I want to start on a good note. Let's start on a good note. We got the ultimate Enzo Amori. This team was absolutely flipping amazing. I got the ultimate Enzo Amori, the elite Luke Harper, and the Harden Rich Swan. This team is crazy. The first time in the event I've ever gotten all the cards. So that's pretty crazy. Let's go and shout out the team right here. We got Rio first with 62 shards. Boss God 2 with 59. Harry Deemer 44. Vanit 33. Myself going ham for myself. That like you guys already know with Team RD, I don't get that many. Most I usually get is like 15 at max. I got 24. Theo with 20. Man, he came back because he was really, really low because he fell asleep early. So great job, Theo. And we got Jerry 1173. Uh, Robbie 1783. Good old Rob, new to the team. 17 shards. Jupiter 13. And E Man 510 with 11. So yeah, that is the good part of this episode. And also, I did pull... This is somewhat of a good part and bad part at the same time. I pulled two Ultimate Pros yesterday. What was crazy, this is before I learned about the glitch. It happened exactly back-to-back, -back, so I'll show you guys right here. We went, I pulled two Ultimate Pros. First, I pulled um, Cesaro. And the next exact reset, I pulled myself a big cast. Me, myself, I'm thinking, man, that's crazy, bro. But I'm not thinking it's impossible, right? Because it actually has happened. This happens every single tier um, for some people. Like, it's not like this is something new to Supercard. It's happened before where people have pulled two resets in a row. But then I went on Twitter. I, I told everyone, hey, I got two pros. Be ready for that in my video tomorrow. And then I started to see things. People pulling 15, 5 to 10 to 15 ultimate cards or elite cards of their tier. Mostly ultimate cards. I, apparently there was one person that had 27 ultimate cards that they pulled in a flipping row. So it's pretty insane. Um, so there was obviously a glitch with Team Ring Nomination. Which I'm pretty sure I actually pulled one of mine from uh, the... Uh, Rank mode also though. But yeah, I pulled Cesar from Ring Domination and then rank mode I pulled Big Cass, which is reset after reset, which is back to back pulls, which is great. But we're really, really a lot of us are scared that we're gonna be losing our pulls, which could definitely happen. Um so yeah, as like I said, there's been like multiple accounts of pulls. Some people have gone like four or five, twenty-seven was the highest apparently, and there was people ten, fifteen. But anyways, there was something like this that happened in my NBA that there was a free pack thing that people could get for a few hours or so where they could get constant free packs over and over and over all-star cards and they completely took advantage of that when they shouldn't have and they got all their cards taken away that they did that with exploiting that and they uh they just <laughs> they couldn't get the, keep those cards and cat daddy actually went ahead and replaced those my nba cards with common cards so this is somewhat like that but it's different because this was not our fault at all. They will, I mean, technically the other one wasn't their fault either, but still we should have known. Obviously they're not going to give us free packs. So yeah, that's why I'm happy to not be part of my NBA community anymore. But yes, WA Supercard, this was different. It was not with free packs, as you can obviously see here. There's no free packs at all. Yes, we're waiting on the network. Yeah, no free packs. Um, but there was constant pulls going on and on and on. I only got two in a row. So what I think that Cat Daddy should do, I'm going to get to my point right now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, what I think Cat Daddy should do, I'll actually show you guys my tweet. Let me pause the video real fast here. All right, so first of all, here is Cat Daddy uh, finally addressing it around an hour ago after a while, while, while of it happening. Uh, we caught a bug during the team event that around less than 1% of players to acquire cards at a rarity at much a higher rate. I think it might have been a little more than... 1%, I don't know. Uh, the issue will be addressed before the next team event run, so that'll be before next Monday, most likely. Thanks for the patience while investigating, so they're definitely going to be looking at that. Um, I'm going to show you guys my tweet right here. Let's go ahead and go on over to my Twitter page right here. 
and I'll show you guys what I think. So yeah, I went in and pinned it because I thought it was so important. All right, so my thoughts, feel free, any of you guys to agree or disagree with what I say. I think that this would help out both things. No matter what Cat Daddy does, there's going to be some conflict and people are going to hate them. And there's going to be some people that are going to be mad no matter what they do. But I think that this would be the best possible thing that they could do. Not giving freebies because people are going to be really, really ticked off just in case they get a support card for their freebie. And then they could be taking away cards that they got from this that actually helped them out. Like, for example, I got a big cast pro as well as a um, Cesaro pro. If I got 15, obviously I'd be like, dude, I don't think that should be right. But yes, here it is right here. This is what I think should happen. One way of not screwing over, in my opinion, then screwing anyone over, in my opinion, is to let each player that went ahead and got those random pulls, if, no matter, you got 2, 5, 10, 15, 27 pulls, let them keep two. Let them keep the, only the first two, only the first two they got, because that is the only thing that is actually possible to happen in Supercard. There's never been a time before this that people have gotten three in a row. It's happened multiple times before where people have gone two. So, um, let's see. Uh, considering two resets in a row is nothing new. It's happened before. It's really rare, but it definitely does happen in the game. But three or more in a row is way too much. So giving only the first two doesn't screw over the balancing as much. Because if you let people get like 10, 27 ultimates, all of a sudden they're just going to be killing the game. They're just going to be destroying people. But if you only have two, that's not going to make that big of a difference. Um, also, it, it doesn't uh, completely screw the player for only playing the game. So if you go ahead... so. For the people that went ahead and got all those ultimates, it's not their fault. They can't choose what they pick on the board. They're going to play the events no matter what. So it's their Cat Daddy's fault to go to go ahead and make this thing happen. If they're not going to fix their game, then it's not our fault that we're pulling the ultimates that they are putting on the boards for us. So that's what I'm thinking. So considering that we have no say in what cards come off the board, exactly. <laughs> so I think that we should be able to keep two of the cards, the first two only, no matter... It's not choosing to. Only the two first cards that we got, uh, no matter how many ultimate cards or elite cards you pull. So that's my opinion. Especially, uh, I don't want people getting screwed over with their resets. Because they're going to completely, like, they erase all the cards. They're going to mess up their whole entire resets. So that's what I'm thinking. Also, I'm going to give a credit to um, TCKU. Something that I think would be a really, really good deal right here. I'll actually show you his Twitter right here. Let's go to at TZKU right there, homie. All right, and come on, there we go. There's TZ, he's a homie. <laughs> Let's see, uh, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and see what they did, right here. Attention WE Supercard Universe, shout out to TZKU. You guys should really go and follow him right now. I think that this would be a really, really good idea as well, including my plan as well. Ever since the release of season three, it's been nothing but bugs. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying what you've added in this season. However, with every network maintenance we receive, something gets pushed and it's broken in a new area. Pulling ultimates, three or more ultimates back to back. I feel this would be a good idea to take down the game for a couple of days. So maybe two or three days, not two hours, not one day, a couple of days at least. So if you can fix what's currently broken and test out the app to see if anything else got broken. Now you'll be thinking, what about my login bonus? Well, maybe... Like he said right here, you, they can count those days that they're not um, on board with the game. So yeah, um, I think it would be fair if they would count the days, yes. And then we shouldn't be playing a broken game. This is an awesome game that we all love. This game, it's an app that's making that has too much stuff in it. So they should really take some time to go ahead and fix this game. Because it's a game that we all love to play. And that's basically what he said. So I completely agree with you, TZ. I think that it would not hurt at all to take this game down for two to three days and just get rid of all the bugs and fix everything, even if they have to take a week. I think that even a lot of Super Carters would be okay with that. We could play some other games where we'd be taking a break because this is a long, long grind that goes on here <laughs> in Super Card. And I don't think that a lot of players would be too mad about taking a, a week break even or a couple day break. So yeah, so that is what I'm thinking here, guys. I completely agree with TZ as well as my spot where I think we should be able to pick, we should not pick, we should be able to keep the first two ultimates or elites if you were in elite tier and got the multiple things. You got 27, you got 10, you got 15, you got three, you got four, you got five. I think you should be able to keep the first two because that's the only one that is actually possible in a normal game. 
So yeah, so those are my thoughts. Go ahead, guys, and sorry about not playing at all in this episode. I just thought that this had to be addressed, in my opinion. Some of you might hate me. Some of you might unsubscribe. And I'm sorry if you do that, but this is what I think that Cat Daddy should do. So let me know in the comments below your guys' thoughts, and if you agree with me, disagree with me, if you halfway agree with me. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, give me a like, a like, a like, comment, a comment, and a subscribe, 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 and I'll see all of y'all. Hashtag Brewers Nation. Ooh, later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want burritos, please. Cat Daddy, if you're watching this right now, which you probably aren't, just because you don't listen to most people, <laughs> don't blame the player for only playing the game.